If you were here for last week's episode where we talked about separating your personal from your business finances, this episode is going to go hand in hand with that one. So you may want to jump over and listen to that one first before you finish listening to this one. So this week's question is, what accounting software do you recommend? Now, first of all, I want to say that you should always talk with your accountant about this because you want to make sure that you're starting off with the software that they also use or can coordinate with. It's important that you don't invest a ton of time and energy into an accounting software, then to later find out that your accountant can't open it, can't read it, doesn't use it. It just, you want to make sure that your accountant can access the software so it makes filing your taxes so much easier and ultimately saves you money during that time. Now, when I started out, QuickBooks desktop version was the only thing that was available, but now they have come out with QuickBooks Online, which is so much easier. The great thing about that software is that you can download your bank statements automatically into the software, and it also has a swipe feature. So if you are consistently going to the same places, Office Depot, Container Store, Amazon, wherever it might be, the software will start to recognize and automatically code those expenses into the GLs. You just have to go in and double check that and make sure that everything's where it's supposed to be. For anything that you don't typically go to, it has the swipe feature. So literally it takes minutes to just swipe transactions over into whichever GL they belong to. It's so fast. Now, back in the day when I started my business, we didn't have that. The desktop version was the only option that we had. So having QuickBooks online is huge. It has made such a big difference. Now, we transitioned a couple times before I finally handed everything over to my bookkeeper. And I will tell you, that was huge for me. Now, it is an additional cost to your business, but let me tell you how much time it has saved me. It is incredible the amount of money that I have saved by having someone who understands QuickBooks, who's in it every day, understands the ins and outs of it, knows my business well enough to know where things belong. Huge, huge time saver and ultimately a money saver. Last week, I recommended that you separate your business and personal expenses. This too is another big one. Set yourself a deadline choose some accounting software after you've talked to your accountant and start downloading those bank statements. Once you get in the habit and the rhythm of doing this every 10th and 25th, right after you pay your bills, will make things so much easier when it comes to tax time. And ultimately, you won't have to file an extension, which costs you more money. So why would you want to do that? 